so just get cozy, but please start filling in the seats. We're going to get started here in the next two minutes. And I have the honor of introducing now to you our state senator here in Central New York. Senator DeFrancisco has been in elective office for many years, and he has a track record of supporting the arts in our community that really is second to none. And it was something that I learned when I got into this um, industry that there is so much benefit to a community to have a thriving arts and cultural component. And you will see Senator DeFrancisco's name on a lot of the events that happen because he recognizes that and he has done the hard work of helping us do arts and cultural organizations for a long time in Central New York. So he is here somewhere and I would like to welcome and thank for all his help, Senator John DeFrancisco. This is uh, a great evening. Uh, sometimes things don't work out right in life, but uh, maybe when that happens, if you look ahead a little bit and are patient enough, that things may even be better than was originally planned. Uh, I'm going to give you a short history lesson uh, that shows that the point I'm making is true. Uh, first of all, for years, uh, before this building was even a conception, Owen Shapiro and I were trying to get state funds to build a uh, sound stage and to try to start this off uh, based upon some funding from one state senator, uh, me. The problem is it never worked out for various reasons. Different locations were not good, the funding wasn't enough, it was just not a good thing. So lo and behold, after many years of trying to do this, in fact, I've known Owen so long that we, I knew him when we were both six feet two. And, uh, and we both wore skinny pants like Eric Biden. <laughs> and so, as time went by, the state of New York decided that, you know, film was an important thing for New York State. And it was my feeling strongly that film doesn't have to reside in New York City exclusively. So. And they started talking, the state did, and Jim Fail and Economic Development started talking about building a facility like this. Unfortunately, the partner they got from California didn't follow through on the commitments that they made. So all of a sudden, there's a facility that was not being used. And since they walked away, there's been several films that have been done here, or parts of them done here, and the facility is truly an outstanding facility. My feeling always was that the only way this is going to be successful to the extent that everybody wants it to be successful is that it's got to be local people that have skin in the game that want it to happen. And that way you get the enthusiasm and you get the results and you get the incentive to be successful and make this bigger and better. Yeah. So now we're finally at the stage, thanks to all the people who were introduced uh, before and all the people who are involved in the organizations that we're celebrating today. So, with that said, you're lucky because things failed early. So don't screw it up. <laughs> all right? Don't screw it up. And I want to tell this story again to the next generation of who's coming here. Last thing on a personal note, Joni Mahoney reminded me of it. Um, uh, my daughter wanted to be in movies, okay? I've got a doctor and a lawyer. My daughter wanted to be in, in movies, so she left uh, New York City where she was living at the time, decided to go to California to make movies. I said, you're nuts. Nobody ever makes it. Nobody ever gets into that opportunity. Well, that's a very protective father that made the wrong decision. Well, lo and behold, she went out there and she ended up being in the movie The Bucket List with Jack Nicholson and Morgan Freeman. Small part, she was Nicholson's daughter. Uh, if you remember the movie, she had a small part at the end. But she got in, and she was involved with it, and she uh, was in some smaller films, and uh, it's very exciting for her and for the family. And you never say never, okay? So don't give up, don't think you can't make it. She ends up getting married, and she marries a screenwriter. And his name is Peter Craig. 
Peter Craig has done the screenplay for Hunger Games 3 and 4, I think. Or 3, I don't know which one it is. <laughs> then he wrote several books. One of them was Bloodfather that was made in the movie, uh, to a movie with uh, uh, Mel Gibson. And he's been, he's been very successful. Uh, his mother and the uh, other side of my grandchild is Sally Field, the actress. And so you never know what's going to lead where when in your lifetime. And uh, so don't give up. Keep your options open. And last thing, I just want to repeat again, don't screw up in this place, all right? Thank you.